got some good tips for you to remember next time you're drawing cartoons or comic strips. Backgrounds are just as important as your main characters, but keep them simple. Now here's a cartoon character that I've drawn and I've cut him out so I can practice him on different backgrounds. I'm going to start by putting him into a town scene. I'm going to put him on a street corner as a background and just here behind him I'm going to draw a brick wall. Now I know what you're thinking, oh no, brick wall, thousands of bricks, we're going to be here forever. Well when you're drawing cartoon brick walls, just draw one or two bricks in strategic places like that and there you get the effect of a brick wall. And as for the pavement itself, well you don't have to draw all the slabs, if you drew, just draw those very thick slabs, or the big ones that go on the edge. And as for the road, well, you don't even have to draw the road. If you just, just draw a grid or a drain on the side there, well, it gives over the impression that this is the road. In fact, if you want, you can even put a couple of cobblestones on the street. Now, I know there's not many cobblestone streets around nowadays, but it just gives over the effect of a street. What about the background in the distance? Well, do you remember that old tip, things fade when they get into the distance? But if we just draw a very faded background, I'm just drawing the outline of the roofs, the church there, maybe a couple of chimneys. And again, it's giving over the effect of a town in the background. What I'm drawing here, again, just very lightly, doesn't have to be neat, I'm going to draw a block of flats. And if you're drawing flats or tall buildings, just hint at the windows by putting a couple of dots in. And there he is. Your character is on a town background. What about the countryside? Okay. Just swap over the paper, lift over my character. Now, the good thing about cutting out your character is you can just keep practicing your backgrounds. And I think what I'll do here is put me in the countryside. The first thing I think of is some grass. So again, just a couple of dotted lines for the grass. And I think we put some woods in the distance, again in the background. And if you're going to draw woods for your background, just draw some, it looks like fluffy clouds in the sky. You don't have to draw each tree individually. And then, no, they're not clouds. If you just draw some like scribbly lines with tree trunks and connect them to the ground, there you have the impression of trees in the background. I think we'll just put a stream here. Again, keeping it simple, just one or two lightly drawn lines for the reflections in the water. And there it is. Try it yourself. Cartoon backgrounds. But don't forget, keep it simple. Oh, that's a nice tip, is that? Using different backgrounds. I will now show you what I look like against a different background. Lower it in! Uh, uh, hello? Hello? Hey, where am I? I've disappeared! <laughs>